What's up, everyone? Viper here with a little Saturday battle between Holiday Luck Times 5 and Cash Payout. Figured to do something a little different. We'll battle against these tickets, see which one comes out on top. And yeah, but before we do that, uh, I got a little message here uh, for Miss Money. Miss Money, uh, I seen her live this morning towards the back end. She had a message about envelopes and her name, changing her name. Well, let's go with the envelopes first. So, you know, some will send their fun mail, some fun mail and paper envelopes. To me, that's not a good thing to do unless you tape in those uh, envelopes and stuff. But this is what I use. I use this here, and I use this here. Now, these are good envelopes here. Um, we're going to go with this one because this is a little smaller to use. Now, when I when I send something out, I put my, my label here, and I put the address and stuff like that, and then I put tape over it. So that way, the address is always protected, and it can't be, you know, get damaged or smeared or try to peel the, the tag off. That's how I do it. And then here, after I seal this, I'll take some tape like this, okay, and I'll, I'll tape this. I'll tape it right over it as another seal, and then I'll turn it over and take a short piece right here, and then tape and just fold it over for extra security. That's how I do it. Because, uh, you know, I understand when the envelope, paper envelopes get ripped, either get ripped probably from the machine because you have coins or whatever in there, or, yeah, like, you know, there's probably maybe, who knows, somebody's trying to get into it or whatever, you know, so, and then you lose whatever's in that envelope, and that sucks when that happens, you know, that just. Uh, that kind of makes me irritated when I see stuff like that. And it's happened to me. But, you know, when, you, when you're sending coins out, you know, you're working hard on your channel and you're sending coins out and stuff. You know, to me, myself, when I send scratchers out, I want to make sure that they get there without, you know, without, you know, the getting damaged or however you want to look at it so you know when you when you're working hard on your channel and then and, and you, you know you're spending money on those coins you know you might want to put them in here instead of a paper envelope you know, I understand you know shipping can be expensive and stuff like that but that coin probably costs more than that shipping does you know so yeah so what I do is like I use these envelopes right here and um when you're using a you know just a regular envelope oh i also noticed there was no return addresses on there now here in our in our area if you try to give an envelope uh to the post office they won't here they won't accept it without a return address and i noticed i've this happened to me in the in the past before when i've gotten a, a coin sent to me in regular envelopes and it had stamps on it and had no return address uh what happened was um when I go to the post office, check my post office box, I get a tag to go to the desk. And when I go to the desk, find out that I had to pay, uh, I had to pay the balance on that uh, due to because if if you if you're sending cards in an envelope or if you send you know anything that's papered you know pictures or whatever, yes, you know you can use them stamps. But if they if they sense that there's a coin or anything in there, it turns it into a package automatically, no matter if it's an envelope or not. Now I know that because that's what they told me. So what happens is when they know there's anything in there, uh, you know, coin or whatever, or uh, it turns it changes the price uh, into a package. So I've had I've had it happen a couple times to me. No big deal, you know. I just paid it because. I was waiting for a coin or whatever, and but I'm just saying, I just wanted to give that you know my my version of it, and what has happened to me in the past with that stuff. So yeah, so when you send when you send something, you know, sending your coins or whatever, I think they have one smaller than this that you can send. So then you know, of course, the shipping might be a little cheaper, but I'm not really sure because even when I send these two, uh, sometimes they're about the same price. Now I pay extra for tracking. Uh, just so that way when somebody messages me and says, hey, I haven't got it, I can go in there and track it. Now, usually I'll email the person the tracking uh, so that way they can track it themselves. Um, but, yeah, I spend the extra for tracking. So to ship my scratcher out and stuff like that, I don't know what it would be for a coin because I don't have any. Um, it's like 3 80 to $4.00. But to me, it's worth it. When somebody donates for my scratcher or for or for whatever I have, you know, the reindeer or whatever, to me, it's worth it. So when they when they're donating it, of course, I include that price with the shipping and um, and tracking. I think it's worth it to me. You know, even though I'm not making any money off of it, I'm not worried about it. But that's how that's how I look at it. So it's 
it, to me, payment to me is somebody likes my scratcher or something that I had, Yoda, Boo, whatever. And to me, it's worth sending it out to them because, you know, somebody out there really liked my stuff. They like, they like my channel and uh, it makes me feel good. You know, it's just to me, it's just not about, you know, about the money, you know, making money or whatever. So if I if I make anything doing this or whatever, it's going to be hitting something good on the scratch off. <laughs> so that'll be the bonus to me. But when I'm doing my channel, the only thing I expect is support from everybody. All the great all the great comments I get from everybody. That to me, that's payment enough. Now, Miss Money, for, as your name, please, please, Boo and I, as you notice on my on my thumbnail, I had the whole. I told Boo, and Boo told the whole gang, please don't change your name, Miss Money. In my book, you'll be the only Miss Money in this world in this lifetime. You know what I mean? So please don't change your name. If you have to do anything, make a different name for people to send you fun mail. You know what I mean? Just change the. Just change the name uh, for your P.O. box instead of changing your name for the channel. Because to me, like I said, you're the only Miss Money in, in this world to me. So I've, been, I've seen your, I've watched your channel since I started my channel. Uh, and I've always enjoyed, I've been a Miss Money fan ever since. And I just, I just, I can't think of you changing your name because you'll always be known as Miss Money. You're the only Miss Money around here. And I, to me, my opinion is... Don't change your name. Just just make another name for your P.O. box for people to send you fun mail. That would be the easiest way. Because even if you change your name, I'm still going to know you as Miss Money. Miss Money. It's not going to be the same. <laughs> so, Miss Money, please keep your name. Just change just change the name on your uh, P.O. box to something else. I think that would be the easiest way to do it. And I'm calling out to all supporters and and, and channel channels out there, let Miss Money know. Don't don't change your name, Miss Money, because that's original for you. You're the only Miss Money around here. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's going. To, that'll do it for now, Miss Money. I hope you see this video. I tried to comment her a little bit, but she was busy in her live, you know, uh, explaining stuff and all that. So I figured I'd just do a small video. Uh, uh, for Miss Money, and hopefully she'll she'll uh, watch the video. Uh, but yeah, you know, send her some comments out there. Let her know Viper, uh, what Viper said about her name and stuff like that. So yeah. So okay, so that's gonna do it for now. So don't forget, I'll be going live Sunday, 3 p.m. And um, uh, we're gonna be playing the Lucky Trip Sevens. Also Sunday tomorrow morning, I'll be going out and getting all these mixed tickets. So it's gonna be 100 tickets total. It's 200 dollars total. And it's going to be 100 tickets total. And, of course, we got Viper, Annette Evelyn, Marla F., Melly Love Slots, Mystic Girl, Rel 713, Slotty by Nature, Fancy Nancy, Elizabeth Davis. And, yep, there we go. I need money. <laughs> so, well, I'll be playing this uh, $2 mix uh, Monday when I get home from work. Uh, can't give a time when I get home from work. I, I, that's when I'll get on there. I'll go live and we'll play. And we're just going to keep rolling it over, over and over until we get something good or until there's nothing left, just like the fast plays we do. So, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Can't wait for Monday to see how well that works with the $2 tickets instead of the fast play tickets. So we're going to go ahead and play these now and uh, see what we get out of these, see if holiday luck comes out or if cash payout does. So here we go. Let's roll. And Miss May, uh, just want to let you know I appreciate all your support, my friend. So, like I said, <laughs> just a reminder: don't change your name because that's you. That is you, Miss Money. All right, here we go. Ticket number forty-three. Uh, this one here. If we get the candy cane, we win fifty automatically. Win a match numbers game. Get that uh, ornament. Win that prize. Looking for the two times or five times the prize. So here we go. Hopefully, I can still use my um, <laughs> my intro. How long is this going to take? Okay, so we didn't get no candy cane. So let's check out and see what we get. This is ticket number 43. They're not in any kind of order, uh, but they are four in a row. 24, 35, 19, and number 6. We got 29, 17, number 4, number 1, 41, 33, 23, 40, 26, 
21, 36, and number 20. Okay, so we didn't get no matches on that one. Moving on. Ticket number 42. Looking for that candy cane. Got a sled. All right, 629. Did I? Oh, I thought I messed that up. 629, 27, and 14, but it don't matter because it wasn't a win anyway. No candy cane. Okay, we got 31. Number 20. We got a 40. 42, 33, number 1, number 8, 37, number 30, 28, 4, 15, 36, 25, and 44. Okay, so we didn't get nothing on that one. All right, moving on. Two more of these. Ticket number 41. Looking for the candy cane. Got a mitten. That'd be cool to get. I don't think I've gotten the candy cane on this yet. I've gotten the ice skate on the $10 ones in the Sunday Friend Group Pool. All right, 19, 40, 24, and 22. Okay, we got 23. Number 12. 38. 26. 24. There we go. We got a match. Okay. How'd they look? It's on the board. Number eight. Oh, got it two times. Okay. This ticket's going to be high. Let's see. 25. How'd they look? Pulling out the punches. Number one. 18. 17. Number seven. Number 20. 27. And the last one is a 33. Okay, so we got the uh, 24 for the match. That's going to be 5 right there. And then we got the 2 times. And that's going to be 5, 10. So that's going to be $15. Okay, so they on the board for $15. Okay, here we go. Last one for holiday luck. Then it's time for the cash payout. Ticket number 40. Looking for that candy cane. Nope, snowman. Okay, 39, 17, 28, number 40. Okay, we got 33, 45, 15, 13, 27, 41, 31, 30, 18, 44, 35, Number 6, 36, 38, and the last one is a 32. Okay, so we didn't get nothing on that one, so they're how they look, $15. Okay, it's time for the cash payout here, Let's see what they can do. Ticket number 4, all right, we're looking for the float note for 10, stack of cash for 20, uh, diamond for 50, and of course that treasure chest for 100, can't forget that one. Win and match numbers. Get the gold bar for five times the prize. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we can do. Boo, I think you're a little too close. That's probably because of my zoom. Okay, nothing there. All right. Okay, nothing up top. All right, here we go. 529.7 and number 11. Okay, we got 21. Number 8, 26, 12, 17, 36, 27, 20, 15, number 3, 2, 31, 40, there's 4, <laughs> 32. Damn, can't read numbers now. And 22. Okay, so we didn't get nothing on that. I will scan these other tickets just to make sure they are losers. Ticket number five. Okay, nothing up top. All right. 
right, 12, 31, 33, and number 8. Okay, we got a 1, 3, 14, 35, 25, 32, 31 and 33, 13, 26, 7, 24, 29, 10, 16, 6, and the last one is a number 11. All right, nothing on that one. All right, moving on. Two left here. Come on, cash payout. How they left times fives got you by $15. Okay, nothing up top. Okay, here we go. We got 8, 36, and 24. Okay, we got 22, 27, 25, 19, number 5, 18, number 9, 32, 1, 7, 20, 34, number 10, 28, and the last one is a 36. Okay, so when you get nothing on that one, all right, last ticket for cash payout. Ticket number 7. All right, nothing there. All right, we got 5, 17, 20, and number 1. Okay, we got 23, number 4, 3, 34, number 10, 12, 6, 32, 21, 29, number 7, 2, 31, 26, and the last one is number 18. Okay, so nothing there. So you know what that means. Uh, cash payout got knocked out. <laughs> All right, so the winner was Holiday Luck Times 5. Okay, $15. All right, so I'll take that for sure. All right, so that's going to do it uh, for today. I appreciate everybody watching and Miss Money. Like I said, you have an awesome channel, my friend. Hugs to you. Please don't change your name. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you Sunday, 3 p.m.